And we are live. Welcome to Press Start 101. Today, we're going to talk about our Nintendo E3 predictions. Um, we did our um, Sony prediction. I did my Microsoft predictions with Erica, so make sure you guys go and check that out. So I'm here with J-Main. Say what up, J-Main. Yo, what's good, people? J-Main, back checking in with the one-on-ones. Let's get it going. <laughs> predictions yeah. and wishes. Maybe Nintendo. Let's go. Yeah. So we go, we're going we're gonna to be talking about our, our Nintendo E3 predictions. And you guys already know, as the leader of the Switch Gang Coalition, the founder of the Switch Gang Coalition, you know, I got some fire predictions for this year's E3. Um, say a word. Shout out to the Final uh, final Storm Notification Gang. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be giving our predictions. All right. So. Jay Main, yo, how important is um, Nintendo's E3 this year? Like, how important is it, bro? Oh, to me, it's like probably one of their most <laughs> important shows of all time. <laughs> because <laughs> for me, like, when it came to getting the Nintendo Switch, like, that event that they held was something I was like, this is going to make or break my purchase decision. I wanted to see a lot of new IPs or just them listening to the fans on bringing back the IPs that we wanted to get. So with that event, it, they kind of really didn't hit on all the aspects, but I did see some promise on certain games. Yeah. This year, I want to see at E3. Bangers, bro. The straight bangers, bro. <laughs> all the heat that they got prepared for the Switch yeah. coming now and in the future, just lay it out on the line right now because it's already selling good. So a good E3 could do wonders for the Switch right now. Bro, yeah, remember that live event? Like, when we were watching that shit live, bro. Yeah. I, I was panicking at a point, bro. When the Switch reveal, I was panicking. Like, I remember when they first showed ARMS, too. Remember when they showed that? I was yeah. like, what is this, fam? I'm like, yeah, what? It's like another motion control game? Yeah, we're like another motion control game? Yeah, what is this junk, bro? Like, I was wilding out. But I remember with the reveal, like, it got better. You know when they started showing Mario Odyssey? That I'm like, okay. Splatoon yeah, yeah, 2 yeah. dope. Fire right. Emblem Warriors. Right. Um, they showed some other shit, too, that looked, you know kind of promising and you know they kind of saved the show um last minute but yo this e3 yo they really have to bring it i lie bro they really have to bring it because yo i <laughs> I, I ain't with the bullshit bro i need to see the games that i want that is so yeah fact. yeah so what do you think they're gonna show bro you started off what do you think they're gonna show you What's oh, your first man. Prediction? <laughs> my first prediction um i'm not actually i'm gonna go with I want to see them show us a new Metroid game. I'm just gonna go for it. Like, yeah, I want to yeah. see. Like, some people kind of want them to go with the side-scrolling Metroid style, but I wouldn't be. I want a Prime style. I want. Yeah, the first I want. Person. I want yeah, exactly. Like, if they want to do both, all powers to them. I'll take both. Yeah, you heard the both. rumors too, right? Right, right. We had those yeah. rumors about both possibly being worked on. But if they're yeah. gonna focus on one, give me the Prime style, first-person style Metroid game. Like, I, I would, I would love that so much. So, like, but low key, yo. Loki might be coming, bro. Like, that's a crazy thing. It might be. I'm not trying to get too, you know, hyped up because, like, I've been hearing a lot of rumors. I'm hearing, like, um, the Deus Ex, I'm um, dev working on the working on um music for it and shit. Yeah. Um, apparently, Retro Studios is, is working on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Like, yo, if it happens, I'm gonna be happy as shit. So, yeah, I'm actually go with Metro is gonna be announced this year. At you booking it? Yeah, I'm booking it. I'm booking it. <laughs> I'm wrong, yo. Yeah. Like, me enough loaves. I'm gonna get a, lo a lot of loaves, but it's all good, man. I'm gonna have but to I, it's like now or never at this point. Yeah, at this point, when is it not, gonna happen? Because they must have heard the outcry with um Federation Force. Like, come on, yeah. they must know that, yo. Come on, yo. Stop playing. Stop playing around. People want a real, real Metroid games. You know what I'm saying? After the backlash of Federation Force, you know they have to be cooking up a real one to like, oh you know, um, to make up for that for sure. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Um, we'll see like what, what they go with, what direction they're gonna go with. But I think if you're gonna book it, I'm gonna book it too, because I feel it's gonna be the it's time. It's time. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> it's definitely time. Um, all right, yo, since you hit up with the Metroid, I'm gonna let you guys know my predictions is um Super Smash Bros port is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Back, I, think so. I know I know today's been a big day for Super Smash Bros. If you on Twitter, there's been a, like a lot of leaks and rumors. I'm pretty sure all of them are fake, but I have a feeling that it's really coming though. We're going to get a Wii U version of Super Smash Bros. Hopefully it's an advanced like enhanced port like um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was with you know a few new characters, a few new stages, maybe some game modes. I'll be super super down for that. I don't even give a fuck. 
if it's not <laughs> a brand brand new smash i don't care about all of that yo right. smash bros wii u was lit all you have to do is just you know maybe tweak a couple of things add a couple of character stages you know a couple of new game modes and i'm extremely extremely happy man that's all they need to do at this point so when it comes to smash bros um i didn't get a wii u so it was smash bros and it was splatoon that were two games that had me like almost buying a wii u but by the time smash bros came out i kind of was like eh, i don't really i'm not really feeling the purchase of the wii u so if they do drop a port for smash bros for the switch it's gonna feel like a brand new game for me so it don't even have to be a new smash bros for me personally would it be nice yeah but if it's just a port i'm okay with that i'm somebody who doesn't care about remasters if you're gonna give me a game and do it better than it was before i'm 100 percent there so if they come with that Smash Bros. port, I'm there day one. I'm picking it up. Yeah, who yeah, who isn't there day one? I like, and I think it makes sense to bring um a port of the Wii U version. Just you know, beef it up a little bit because how long is it gonna take to really pump out a like a whole new Smash? You know, I, you know, just give me the right. Wii U version. I don't give a fuck, bro. Give me the Wii U version. Some yeah. new characters, some new stages. <laughs> I'm and straight this, like a portable smash, bro. Like, yeah. I can imagine that shit on this, bro. This shit will be like, <laughs> bro. I'll be at work playing that and everything. Bro, bro. I'll be at work chilling. <laughs> running that smash, bro. Yeah, man. It's been years since I played like Smash, like yeah. series, like on competitively and all that with the homies and all that. So it would be dope to get that on the Switch. And it's it, it's a no brainer at this point. Like, why not? It's a, it's a couple games on the Wii U that I want them to port over. So in addition to that, I'm hoping to hear a couple more games ported over to the yeah. yeah. Honestly, honestly, I feel like the first year is the time to do the ports. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The first yeah. year, this is the perfect time to fill up, um, fill in the gaps of ports. Um, I have no problem with them bringing, you know, Bayonetta two. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. You know, I'll be really Absolutely. happy with that. Mario Maker. I never got to play Mario Maker. I and that comes to another one of my predictions. Mario oh. Maker is gonna get a a Switch version. Mark my words. Mario Maker. Mm. It just makes too much sense. It makes right, way too much right. sense for not. They to even happen. brought it to 3DS, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, so why not? Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling it right now. Mario Maker is coming um to the Switch. We're gonna get a a version of that. Um, I don't know if you've seen um apparently there's a credible rumor of poking coming to the switch Pokin, as well yeah um i never got to play it. Uh, another mm -hmm. game wii u game i missed out and i'll definitely check it out hopefully it's the arcade version because i heard um the japanese arcade version is better than the um you the know console, um, the wii console version. version yeah i heard i heard that game is actually lacking in content and stuff like that i never got to check it out i thought it looked pretty cool but yeah. i'll definitely give it a go if it's um if they brought it to the switch definitely give it a go no so since we on like wii u ports let's kind of stay here with a prediction that i want to make is that i want to see them bring the donkey kong country tropical freeze to the switch Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. yo, I, I yo at... you bring the whole switch a lot yo. <laughs> bring, bring all like, that shit over like i'll put that shit over bro because a lot of people skip out on a lot of people skipped out on the Wii U. We can't sit here in front like the Wii yeah, U is like one talk. of the worst selling Nintendo consoles. So why not just bring some of the good games that yeah, they have real talk, real talk to the real Switch? Talk. Like that's some real shit though. Yeah, shit. bring that over, bro. Bring and bring all those games over. All the lit games, bring it over. Like mm -hmm. this is the time. Early on, this is the time. I don't care about three years down the line. Right, three years down the line. At that point, I want to see new games. You know. Yeah. As long yeah. as it's not taken away from people working on new IPs. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah, I, yeah. which I really doubt that. Like, um, you know, costly for them to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't think right. so. I don't right, think right. so. Yeah. All right. So you want? Okay, I, I'm gonna go with another prediction. There, is that all right? I'm gonna go with, of course. I, I mean, this is kind of a a given. But I think we'll get more of the uh, Super Mario Odyssey gameplay. For sure. Um, I think that's obvious, and that's going to be that's a gonna be game. The yeah, I feel like that's going to be the showcase game of um, E3 year. this year. It's going to be a huge game. Yeah. Right. So it's like for people that are actually going to the E3 event, I feel like this game is going to be playable there so that, you know, everybody can get their hands on it, talk about it, stuff like that. They're going to show us all types of new gameplay aspects. And, of course, I think they're going to come out with um, – they've been doing the color bundles – so like with the um Splatoon, they had the green and the pink Joy-Con or whatever. Yeah, I think that's Japanese only though. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's only. That's Japanese. disappointing as hell because I was yeah. gonna cop like two green. <laughs> <like that. laughs> yeah. But I, I I would like to see like maybe like a custom uh Joy-Con for Odyssey or even like a custom Switch dock or even a custom Pro controller for Mario Odyssey. Like I think they could or should go all out when it comes to like Mario Odyssey and the custom bundles because this game is gonna sell crazy 
It's gonna yo, sound crazy. I'm, I'm calling it right now, yo. The Switch is winning MPD that month when that game. Whenever out. it comes out, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm putting money on that. Who wants to bet me on that? <laughs> During the holiday season. Yeah, yeah. I think the Switch yeah. is gonna do really good this holiday. Like niggas keep on sleeping on it, yo. They're still sleeping on it, yo. Well, out of all these milestones are being beaten, yo. They're still sleeping. I let them sleep, bro. I'm gonna I'm just. You know, but you, you can't days, blame bro. them though. Look what the Wii U did. Bro. I can't blame them either. Blame you, them. you know, I, I would. Be, I I don't blame them too much, bro. I actually yeah. don't blame them. I mean, if it. You think it's on like a Wii trajectory right now? Nah, nah, nah. But it's gonna do extremely well though. People, mm. people, the people who are out here predicting that it's gonna be like another flop. Remember the dudes I was saying, um, fucking dead on arrival. Shout out to Solid Rev in here. We're talking about his favorite game and company, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Solid Rev? <laughs> Let me hear your prediction. Yeah, a lot of dudes are saying dead or on arrival. Um, BG, aka Loaf King himself, said the Switch will only sell three million this year. This shit is already past three million. It's only oh, yeah. been how much months now? You know what I'm trying to say? Like. <laughs> It's smashing that. <laughs> it's smashing that, bro. It's smashing that. Like, it is yeah. what it is, bro. The unit is pretty cool, man. It's a good, it's a cool portable, um, portable gaming device, man. And yeah, I would definitely be on board hating on the Wii. Um, I mean on the Switch. Mm -hmm. If it was just strictly a home console, like the way it was, and it was yeah, strictly, yeah. but the fact that it's portable, it's not failing. The fact that it's portable. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big, a lot of people slept on the portability of it. And that's, yeah, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a huge sell. That's, that's a the huge sell. People, are, you know, <laughs> people are sleeping on that. That's a huge sell, bro. The fact I, that it's portable. Yo. I listen to a lot of like podcasts around the gaming industry and so many people are like, yo, I wish Sony or Microsoft would do something like this. Cause yeah. I'd be uh, on the plane. I'd be traveling. I'd nah, be out with nothing nah, to do bro. with it. I would bro. love to play Persona or something like that. Bro, like, people bro. talk so much shit right now. If Sony or Microsoft dropped, um, um, a device similar to the switch right now they'll be <laughs> on that so quick you know what i'm saying people are yo these guys are hypocrites like that they'll be yo because i know myself can you imagine if somebody dropped like a portable ps4 i'll be so well, I'm there one. i'm there day one bro imagine like taking like a, a portable version like neo yes. uncharted 4 yes. god of war yes. anywhere bro i'm i'm copping that i'll probably yeah. play that play that uh, more than my home console like real talk I'm definitely using that more I, than the fucking pro i only so take that shit to work I only dock my switch to like record gameplay or stream and stuff like real that. Talk. You gotta real do talk. that. Yeah. <laughs> Any real other talk. time I'm playing the handheld online, yeah, real, all that real, stuff. Real talk. That's <laughs> some real shit right here. All For right, real. so back so back to the back to the predictions. Um I, we said um they're gonna really show um <laughs> <laughs> what is what solid rev <laughs> portable ps4 trash yo chill solid rev you wildin yo you chill yeah chill yo so um we talked about they're gonna obviously show a lot of super mario odyssey that's gonna be a big showcase we predicted right. we predicted that you know um metroid is gonna be there for sure we think so we predicted smash is gonna be there um what else is a given um they're obviously gonna talk about their online service you think they're going to be talking about their online service yes that's actually another prediction i had so i think yeah. this is when they're going to give us the the price um yeah. any of the incentives any of the incentives that we're going to get for subscribing to their online service um big i don't mistake. think it's gonna big, be big mistake in my opinion though what do you big mean mistake. What charge you for online nintendo bro look at look, look, um, bro. once xbox did it and sony saw those numbers they started doing it now nintendo, nintendo. gotta be looking like yo yo but charging bro. makes bro. bread if, it, if people are gonna pay why not <laughs> you know bro, if this yo if the online don't got no party chat my nigga though yeah okay no game chat in these games if i can't send message i'm a snap i'm a snap bro like i don't need no dog shit online like i don't <laughs> yo if you yo if it's gonna be dog shit, it should be free you know what i'm saying and that's bro. what i'm actually kind of worried about because you already know we've seen um talks at um they're gonna do like online integrated with your cell phone or some shit like that and yeah i'm really really not with that i really hope there's um voice chat through the system itself um i'm crossing my fingers because apparently there's like some peripherals like headsets that like you connect to your switch and it has like a mic and shit so yeah. i'm praying to god that means that you know the switch is gonna have like voice chat actually on the system itself because if it doesn't i'm a snap you know i'm gonna make a round about it you know oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna go crazy about that shit. So but the fact that charging i'm kind of cheese low key like remember when they announced that shit? i was wilding too <laughs> yo, wilding, that, bro. he was in there like what <laughs> i was wilding bro i'm like yo how they if charging, you look at, bro? if you look at the history of nintendo online it hasn't been the best and then when they were talking about that cell phone shit, like yeah when you say big mistake if they keep up with this cell phone and you can't really like party chat or message your friends and the online is bare bones 
even like the social features, then yeah, it's gonna be a problem. It don't matter how much you charge, and people not paying to use a cell phone when you can go on free apps like Skype and fucking Skype, Google, Google Hangout, Hangout Discord. Discord, Discord like, is popping. Like dudes is on Discord now, chatting with their friends on the cell phone or on the on the desktop. So like you can't be charging for just specifically an online service alone when that shit been free and you're not adding nothing to it. Now the the um I think they were saying like free classic games like NES classic games SNES classic. Yeah, games, they're, like they're saying like you can have them, you features. can take it. You're gonna take it back or some shit. Remember you heard some shit yeah. like that. Yeah, Come so on, bro. I mean that's that's a nice incentive, but it's not enough. You know what I'm saying? To Yo, they're, they're justify like the price. Games, though, yeah, that's some bullshit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Let me let me let me address Solid Red. Yo, Solid Red, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm not playing my Switch in the grocery store, bro. I'm not taking my Switch to the park and playing it. I'm not bringing my Switch to like a party and playing my Switch there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, bro, I'm taking it to places where it makes sense, where, you know, like work. I have a lot of free time at work. I got one of those kind of jobs that I sit around for hours, you know, and wait on standby and shit. Perfect for that. Um, maybe if you're on a road trip in a whip, that's not bad to bring a switch. So obviously people make it seem it's it's portable. So that means you got to bring it like everywhere. Like obviously I ain't bringing this shit to the club or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, I be, you bring it places that obviously make sense. Like I remember I went, um, I went to go, um, what was it? I went to go like buy, buy a sticker, for, update the sticker for my car. Yeah. And I took it there. The line was massive, right? So oh, yeah. DMV I is always there. fucking lit. Yeah, so <laughs> I took it there, played. Time flew by. So you obviously take it places where it makes sense, my dude. My yeah. dude. <laughs> See, that commercial got people fucked up thinking people was bringing yeah, that shit. Yeah, that commercial. Yeah, I mean, we're not walking our dogs playing the Switch, bro. Like, come on, bro. In reality, yo, we're playing the shit in our bed, watching some TV. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, Taking that shit to work for the people who got the luxury of doing that. And, you know, then just places that make actual sense. You know what I'm saying? That is a fact. All right, so... um. You want to keep going with the predictions? All right, yeah, let's let's yeah, let's hit them up. We ain't done, y'all. Um, I got I got one. I think you right, probably you got, got on your list too. All right, yo, we, let's we got we got to talk about that Pokemon Stars, or whatever type of Pokemon game they're gonna bring to the Switch. Now, me personally, if it is Pokemon Stars, I'm a hundred percent. Oh shit! I'm a hundred percent. Yo, that's fine. coming, bro. <laughs> yo, that's yeah. coming. I'm a hundred percent fine with it's Pokemon Stars because I specifically skipped out on Sun and Moon because I knew. I heard the rumors that stars is supposed to be coming, which is supposed to be like a, um, you know, another version of Sun and Moon. So if they bring a Pokemon stars, I'm 100% here for it. If it is another Pokemon game, uh, I don't know if like Pokemon Snap, I'm not really, I don't really care for stuff like that. Like a, a Pokemon Stadium style game, I could see that, but give me that Pokemon stars. I, I'm predicting Pokemon stars coming this year, actually. <laughs> Solid, bro. Yo, that line long as fuck. Let me play my. That's exactly how it is, bro. Yo, places, <laughs> yo, yo, places that I know I'm gonna I'm be waiting around for long. Like if I'm at like a doctor waiting on an appointment, yo, I'm bringing that shit with me. I don't give a fuck. I'm bringing that. I don't give a fuck who see me play that shit. I don't give a shit, bro. <laughs> Rev, this is your problem, Rev, bro. You too self conscious, bro. You care about what other people think of you too much. You gotta yeah. be more like me. I don't give a motherfuck, bro. I don't give a fuck when niggas care, care about me. <laughs> Or or what their opinion on me? You know what I'm saying? I'm good. Sure. Everybody so, got everybody got their thing that they do that people would question. So you just gotta do what you want to do, play what you want to play, and that's it. Have fun, man. Just let yeah, loose, yeah. bro. <laughs> just let your inner D Gen come out, bro. You you're good, bro. Just just let it out, bro. Go play some Horizon and go play some Zelda <laughs> Rev. You'll be good, bro. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna buy Rev a Switch for for Christmas this year. Yeah, man. someone needs to get this man a Switch, man. Off a Switch. Bro, I'm gonna he, show him the ropes, let him play. He gonna fall in love with that shit. He, he, says, he says the switch is gay, bro. I told him, I tweeted him, bro. Play in small doses, you know, keep the gay levels low. You'll be good, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. You'll be nice. <laughs> keep the levels low. I'm keep the levels low. You be you be blessed. All right, so yo, Pokemon stars, yo. You, good yes. thing you brought this up because I heard some people were like um going into the files of like Pokemon stars and, and they found like HD files and shit like that. So yo, this might be a hint, bro. That is really? Switch, bro. And this has been a lot of rumors. And I think Nintendo themselves com um, confirmed there's a Pokemon game coming for it, but we don't know if it's a mainline Pokemon game, right? Right, we right, don't right. Know if it's one of those gay ass Pokemon snaps. <laughs> it might be a, a Pokemon Stadium. Yo, but honestly, if they do announce a Pokemon, it's one of those gay ass 
Pokemon snaps, I'm going to be cheesed as hell, bro. I don't think they would do that, though. Like, they got to know what sells. So, if it, yeah. like, Pokemon is a beast when it comes to sales. That shit did, like, yo, 50 it, yo, million think, or some shit like that. I don't think they, I don't think they're stupid. I think they combined their handheld and their console studios for a reason, bro. Right. I think they're planning on a lot of, um, 3DS Switch games in the future, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Fire Emblem Warriors and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 So if if they smart, they're gonna bring that Pokemon Stars over. And if they also smart, if they drop that that's the thing, like I would I would say they could drop it this year, but I wonder if they're gonna want to spread stuff out to help yeah. the sales of the Switch, you know what I'm saying? Not yeah, trying to drop too much everything out once. Yeah. in this year. So maybe it won't come out this year, but I, I think they're gonna at least show it or announce something about the Pokemon show us something about the Pokemon coming to the Switch and what type of what type of Pokemon game it is. Yeah, it's been I ain't gonna front. It's been a minute since I actually got into a Pokemon game. Like I kind of felt crazy. Off the like, Pokemon bandwagon. It's crazy because I'm not I'm not really like a fan of the TV series. Like I was a fan of the TV series as a youth, right? I was like a kid digging my. But just the game is just ret like retain its fun, bro. The game is like really dope still. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Definitely is, and they sell like crazy. So they'll be yeah, they like, yeah, The games are really fun. Like they're really, really good RPGs. You know. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what else? What else do we think Nintendo's bringing, man, to the table this year at E3, man? I, I'm, I'm still hoping for some new IP. Some yo, I yo, 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 my son, my, yo, my, my annoying son Tony says, "Where's my mod, Playboy, bro? You're lucky you ain't blocked, bro. How about that? Wait, who said that? that? Tony, my son, my, my son, bro." <laughs> Oh, I see him. <laughs> <laughs> he was dropped on his head as a kid. Don't even pay no attention. Yeah, yeah, we dropped Tony a couple. Of, yeah, I dropped Tony. You know, <laughs> uh, he ain't all the way there yet. So you know, the baby mama was blowing cigarettes and all that shit and drinking with Tony. So you already damn. Know. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. So I, I, else, bro? I need to see some new IPs, man. Like that was always my big thing with Nintendo. Splatoon is one that. I like I'm a, I'm a personal new fan of Splatoon. So that coming out on, on a brother's birthday. Oh, that's, that's gonna lit. Be, that's that's a gonna day be, come. Yeah, that's going to be something that I'm going to pick up. Um, I'm going to go social. I'm going to go D-Gen for you, Rev. And I'm going <laughs> to live stream on my birthday, Splatoon 2. I'm going to directly tag you in that video so you can see the, the greatness that is Splatoon. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 Jamie, you play ARMS? You play ARMS? Did nah, I didn't, get, I didn't get a chance. I to not tested out. No, I, I was at I was at work. I, I know, yo, because no I know. Like, yeah, yeah, I know you're iffy about that game. You know, yeah, I know you told me you weren't too sure about it, but I mean, but, when it comes to when it <laughs> when it comes to fighting games in general, like I'm not. Oh, really you're not big, really a big fan. I'm not oh, really a big fan, but like, yo, the know, game's actually lit though. Like, like the game's actually. I'm surprised. Like you already like you were there to see my initial reaction. Like you know, I ain't bullshitting because you see my initial reaction on the announcement. I was like, yo, what is it? I wasn't like hyped at all yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, after trying it yo uh, especially with a controller though bro i tried oh. the motion it's super gay with the motion controls it's really really bad really no one's gonna be playing it like that it's really bad right, right. with a controller i can't rely the game's kind of lit bro i think it's gonna be well received after playing the the test punch man it's gonna be actually a big game low key. I, I tuned into some of your streams so i seen you playing it, it, it look like i was there's a lot of strategy to it bro like it's a lot of i was strategy. saying that in my streams like originally when we saw it it looked like another weak motion control game so, but yeah like some... after they did the direct they showed like more in depth of the combat how you can switch up different arms and use different strategies to help give you an advantage in certain fights and each like they got elements to certain arms so wind and ice and fire and all that other stuff so when i seen stuff like that i'm like yeah this game has some depth to it and it looks like it, it could be pretty cool but i just don't i don't know about it still maybe i'll have to try yeah. one of the test punch like yeah, try, def you know, definitely don't miss um this test punch that's coming out this weekend and let me know what you think because i'm actually curious to see what you think about it but yeah you know, i'm actually kind of at this point i'm kind of sold on the game and low key i'm actually sold on it yeah yeah <laughs> i mean I know you like the fighting game, so yeah. You you think um Nintendo's gonna talk about their Zelda DLC? Because you know there's expansion coming out, right? You yeah, think they, they, didn't, they, didn't they detail it already with the um, um the first just, one at least, right? I know hard mode is coming like a, a harder difficulty, but are they right. really are they gonna are they gonna show like the um story? You think so? This uh, I can see that. I can see that happening. Show more because like the stuff that they talked about was more like finding new items and new weapons and shit like new gear throughout the world um so i don't know if they'll yeah they'll probably do talk more about like story dlc and shit like that for uh zelda okay um also i don't know if you've seen like um um early reports that like people are saying pikmin 4 is done 
you know, it's been right. done for a minute. Wow. So you never know, man. Maybe we might get a Pikmin 4 announcement. Um, we could throw that in a prediction. I think that would be a pretty cool announcement, a uh, Pikmin mm -hmm. 4. That would be pretty dope. I don't know if you played any of the games before, but I played pretty good. Pikmin for GameCube, so like, okay. been since I played Pikmin. But I I'd be interested in seeing what they got cooking up a Pikmin on the Switch. Like, <laughs> did they ever bring one to the Wii U? Um, yeah, I did. Pikmin 3. Mm, yeah, that okay. was a that was a Wii U title. The game was pretty good still. It was short, okay. but it was pretty good. Um, I don't know if you seen reports, but Platinum's actually working on a Nintendo Switch game as well. Yeah, I seen that I today. I seen, seen that, that today, today right? Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, I like that. I like the sound of that. I, is it a new IP you think, or are they going to be? I don't know, on? man. I, yeah, I'm hoping it's Bayonetta three. If not, if it's a new IP, I'm good with that too. But yeah. I'm just I'm just hoping it's their A team working on it, not their like shitty yeah. you know, B team or the ones that make the movie based games because those guys are horrible. Does Nintendo will like have a partnership with Platinum where they get the Bayonetta games going forward, or was it just that Bayonetta two was exclusive? You know what? I think they funded the second one. That's why I think oh, Bayonetta right. was actually dead. You know, the, the the series was actually dead until Nintendo stepped in. Um and um decided to fund the game um i don't think they have any sort of deal going for forward with the future right but maybe that maybe since um nintendo funded the second one maybe you know they platinum and nintendo probably have a good relationship you never know right i'm pretty yeah. sure they, they probably do you right. never know it might happen so we'll see we'll but see. they they've been like platinum and pumping out a bunch of games like i guess i can see them like working on something and bringing it to multiple platforms now like i think they got enough funds for that yeah, so what else, yo? What else can Nintendo bring to the table? So we got su we got Super Mario Odyssey, re quick recap, Metroid, we think that's coming, Smash Bros. I'm saying um Mario, Super Mario Builders coming. Oh yeah. mother oh fuck, remember that that leak? Um the rabbit, the rabbit, um oh, yeah. Mario rabbit, rabbit. That shit's, yeah, that shit's definitely gonna get announced there, right? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean it that shit pretty much is already yeah, been yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just been leaked. It was details. it was a new leak that came out today with more gameplay details. Like, oh yeah, say yeah, word. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see that. I have to I have to link you that, but yeah, like we seen the artwork for the game and then like they showed more like, they talked about more like gameplay aspects of it. So it seems like it is gonna be like a type of strategy RPG game, which yeah, I told you on Twitter. I, I, that, if that's the case, I'm out. Like I ain't fucking with strategy <laughs> RPG game, man. I'm not I'm not here for that. So bro, that, I, I, I can like, that could keep that. <laughs> like I like I like trying new games, right? Like at first I wouldn't fuck with fire, I wouldn't have ever fucked with Fire Emblem because it's a you know strategy RPG. Then I played Awakening. That yeah. shit blew my mind. That shit was super fun. I really liked the gameplay in that. So I decided to pick up um the Sugaya Five. I think that's how you pronounce the game. Oh yeah. yeah and yeah. my God, bro, when I say that game is hella, hella corny, bro. Yo, the dialogue, <laughs> I cannot stand it, bro. Man, like, that, yo, the gameplay is not that bad, but the dialogue in the game just wants me to drink bleach or or kiss a shotgun bro like it's really God bad, damn. Bro. it's really bad bro i don't even know if i can finish it because i'm at this point i'm like skipping all the like the talking and i'm like yo this shit's so bad and so corny bro Story boring and shit yeah, yeah but the gameplay not bad though but like oh, man. that's man, the thing I about those really... kind of games like the gameplay gotta be yo gotta but be try, good. Yo, yo try fire emblem though and when it come out just try it when yeah. i mean it's heat it's heat it's heat yeah. That might be something I'll look into, but like, look, like when it comes to the strategy games, man, like them shits kind of get a little boring to me. Like, I'm yeah. I'm not even like a turn-based RPG. Like, like oh, Tony yeah? said, I'm not even an RPG guy. Like, you ain't gonna find me talking about like I fuck with RPGs like that. Like, Persona <laughs> Full Golden was like one of my first like heavy RPG games. Like, Bro, cop, RPG games yo, like cop, I am Satsuna because you're saying you're looking for a single player game. Right, right, cop, right. I am Satsuna, man. That game, that game, you know. Uh, introduce you a little bit more to yo it's it's lit too it's really good really good story you know um i really like the ending even though your choices don't you know mean shit in that game i think that's my only um um, cr um critique of the game but the game is really good definitely check it out i told myself this year i'm gonna like try and get more into japanese rpg games and just rpg games in general so you know this this rabbit game. I I have to see more. Like maybe they could convince me. But, yo, uh, yo, Rev, Rev in the chat row said, "Bro, <laughs> it's me." Yo, Rev. You know what's crazy? I'm gonna link you to a a survey that they did with I believe um, eight hundred eight hundred um thousand people or some shit like that. I may be wrong on that. Don't quote me. But they say they said the demographic for Switch users, the people who have purchased a Switch, are yeah. actually like twenty five. 
to like really? 35 years old or some shit like that. They say Rev Loki got a switch in the crib. So we weren't playing on Switch. People right now. Like the switch is for kids, but the crazy thing when I looked at this survey, this really big survey, like only a few percentage of kids like under 12 are yeah. using the switch. Most men using the switch are like 18 to like 35. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Nintendo fan base, I mean, if you go from when they were kids to now, like, that's their age group, so. Rev says 25 to 30 year old. <laughs> yeah, <people. laughs> Yo, someone needs to stop this man. Like, bro, <laughs> someone needs to stop this. <laughs> Yo, Rev, what, what would it take for you to get a Switch? Like, what would that's you That's a good question, bro. Yo, Rev, <laughs> what would it take for you to cop a Nintendo Switch? Like, for real, yo. You need some you need some games of like girls that you can look up skirts because I seen you posting some you know some foul pictures on Twitter. You know, you you trying to you know scope through some dresses and shit like that. Uh, that's some degenerate <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> yeah, that's some, <laughs> that's some real D gen shit, Rev. Yo, you're looking at 3D asses, Rev. Like, yeah, I can't condone that, Rev, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. I mean, do you think like they're nah, I, I wouldn't say this, but I would say, like, I was hoping to see Nintendo go on a big stage with E3. <laughs> then, I, then I kind of thought about it, and I was like, that that event that they did for the Switch wasn't even, like, good. So I don't know if they even would do good on the, the big screen. Like, they kind of have their own space when they do the direct. I think, I, yo, tra trailer after trailer. Yeah, they, got can, that, they got yeah, that. I like that, though. Loki, yeah, I like that. Like, like I, I think I told you this once. I don't care how I get the announcements live or digital yeah. live stream. As long as I get the games that I want, that's all I really care about, you know? Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? You think we're going to get an update on Xenoblade on Chronicles 2? Yeah. Didn't they say year? that's supposed to come this year? Yeah, that game's supposed to come this year, but some people feel like it's going to get delayed. I'm crossing my fingers, hoping, hoping it comes up. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, this year. I, yeah. I, th I think we'll get more information about that too. Yeah, I, I agree. <clears throat> I think we're gonna see more. Of um, that. um, I don't think we're gonna get any updates on um, no more heroes. We know that's coming in the future, but yeah. uh, I think that's still early on. I think we're gonna. I think that game is gonna come out actually like maybe twenty nineteen, early twenty nineteen. Damn, I don't you think so. Wait, what studios making that game? Um, Suda fifty one. So what was the last project they worked on? I don't even know, but apparently they're not. They're not even um even close to like finishing that game i think i don't think they're close mm. yeah, all right yeah but that'll be pretty dope but no more heroes i don't know if you you have ever tried that franchise, franchise nah pretty dope. I, never, I never fuck with no more heroes yeah um what kind of game is it like is it it's, a, it's like an action action game um check it out um check it out um some of the footage is very silly um really gruesome mature <laughs> What platform um, did the last one come out on? Was it like multi it, like, it was on the Switch. There's some on the PS2 as well. I'm pretty sure there's some on the on the GameCube. But yeah. you said the Switch, or you mean the Wii? I mean, I mean the the Wii, the original Wii. The oh, original the Wii. Wii. Oh, the okay. Original Wii. Oh, so my shit. bad. Yeah. My <laughs> bad. So you think uh, um, another prediction I got is uh, the virtual console? Oh yeah, good, so, good. I mean, we were t already talking about ports, but I think they were kind of like seeing how popular the NES went. And I think they're gonna actually do uh, an SNES. I think was that confirmed or was it just a rumor? That I think that was a rumor. Started? I don't think they confirmed it, but it's probably coming. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's probably coming. I can see that coming. And then I think that's kind of what's holding back the virtual console a little bit. Um, is that they want to get those two out on the wild, and then maybe they go from there and drop the games on the virtual console. So maybe like the end of this year they'll have something ready for the virtual console. Yeah, I'm hope I'm hope I think we're actually gonna get some virtual co console announcements. Like, I'm hoping that there's actually like talks of like new UI features. You know, like, do you think that's gonna happen? Like, I just want I want to be able to do like um, check the play the play time of my games like properly because I don't know if you had like a 3ds or like a Wii U. You could yeah. actually they actually had like a log um app that you could check. I would really really like that. Like. Just a whole bunch of little shit, you know, I would like for them to add, man. Like, how yeah. amazing would it be if Nintendo came out and said, like, yeah, we have an achievement system, though. But that yes. ain't happening. That's a wish, though. That, that yes. ain't happening, though. I don't think I think, I don't think, I think it's so not easy, but it's it's like a no-brainer for their system. Like, they could do uh, stars or coins, like something yeah. Mario-based where, yeah. like, fans have a connection with. That way, like, people feel like incentivized to go, at, go after that stuff. Yo, and it's how been a staple in game <laughs> since last generation, so... Yeah. Let's get with the you time. Know, <laughs> Shit. This is a fact. They're going to show Amiibos, which, you know, I don't give a fuck about. They're going to show oh. some sort of Amiibos. You know, that's a given. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's yeah. a given. Yeah. 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 New probably do Mario Odyssey Amiibos. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. 
Yo, yeah. Rev, yo, Rev, I don't own a single amiibo, so I, that must count for something, bro. I don't buy amiibos. I'm not into that shit. I just like the games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but it's crazy. Like, the Switch is actually... What do you think about the Switch's first-year lineup, by the way? Like, what do you think of the first-year uh, library? So far, I think it's... Uh, it's it's cool. I you mean, I'm not... Cool? Yeah, like, for me, the I bought the Switch for zelda and then for the promise of odyssey but you can get zelda on the wii u so like i can't really sit here and say oh shit like zelda is this game that you need to buy a switch for because you don't so mm -hmm. when it comes to that with zelda, oh, why would you buy it on the wii u Ew, though like that's just well, I, I, i'm just saying like <laughs> you can't that you can't really give it to yeah, the switch yeah. if it's already on another platform but i agree like yeah it's a the wii u is trash so, so yeah <laughs> I, I fucks with the switch as a handheld device like as a device i love it as hardware I'm all for it. It's missing features. We talked about that over and over again. But yeah, when it, features aren't make or break for me. Like I'm not gonna sit here and not. In the end of the day, yeah, in the end of the day, in, I can't even talk. In the end of the day, is strictly about the games for me. You know, if right. I have a dope game, yeah, I can't message a friend, but I still want to play this dope mm -hmm. ass game. That's how I'm like, oh. you know. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which was on the Wii U as well, but I didn't play the Wii U. So Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is fire. That shit, as Thank of right now. That shit is like in my top five games of the year so far. Yeah, the game is, um, yo, honestly, that game is amazing. They did it well it, too. The little shit it. that they added to made, yeah. like, really made a difference. Like, I never played the, I never got the DLC. Um, mm. So there was enough new there to like warrant the, you know, the rebuy again. And I really love the game. The game is definitely like one of the best car racing games I've ever played in life. You know? Yeah. That yeah. Shit is great. It's really good. I'm loving really that. polished. The driving is absolutely amazing in that game. And anyone who wants to catch a fade. <laughs> <laughs> yo, we're going to play this weekend. I know you said I was ducking this shit yesterday. I was at work. Yo, people are, yo, people are always ducking me, bro. Nah, people I'm not ducking you, bro. Yo, if I'm going to catch an L, I'm going to catch an L. Like, yo, I don't I'm mind. Gonna duck I, no I, Alex, bro. I don't mind. You know why? Because there's this whole exposed culture that we have here on YouTube. Pe got people scared to play people with People scared to play? Yeah. yeah man, like, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? You can watch, laugh about that shit. I get yeah, when, when I, I get watch, watch, I get washed. Like, yo, I like when, yo, first of all, I actually like when I play people better than me. You know, actually, yeah. I'm not one of those gamers, <clears throat> BG, that, you know, <laughs> cries when he gets washed, blames it on lag, <clears throat> blames it on lag and shit. You know what I'm saying? Then you know, quits <laughs> matches until he finds a match that he can beat somebody. Then brag. Ooh. I ain't one of those type of gamers. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, the exposures <laughs> at an all-time high, cause damn. <laughs> out BG, yeah, I remember I was watching this NBA playgrounds. Yo, this guy was getting washed, out, washed after game after game. You know, blamed it on lag. He found one <laughs> game. He found a dude that was a complete scrub. <laughs> No complaints. <laughs> <laughs> the homie had no complaints, bro. And he was bragging and shit. I was dying, bro, in that live stream. Shout out to BG, bro. But that nigga don't want to see me in none of these games. That's nah, we're going to gonna definitely play that this weekend. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm in there with you. Um, We're going to play that. I've been playing that 200cc, boy. I don't, I had to learn each track, like, front yeah. to back in yeah. order to master that shit. So I, I, I've learned the tracks. I've learned, like, drifting. Yeah, we, do, yeah, we definitely better, got it. So I'm much better than I was before. I was getting washed. But I, <laughs> like I said, I want to. if you're better than me, I want to play you. That's it. Yeah, real talk. I actually, you actually, actually got to meet the best. Uh, real so, talk. Yeah. I actually really do like playing people that are actually better than me in games. I feel like that's how I get better, though. So mm -hmm. for real, I don't for like real. playing people that I just beat all day. All right. So, yo, what else, yo? What else? What do you wish? Is there, like, do you have any, like, wishes that, you know, probably are not going to happen, but you would like to see, though? Ah, uh, for Nintendo, mm, it's hard for me to wish for them because like they don't really listen to yeah, <laughs> they don't yeah, really yeah. listen to people. So it's like yeah. when people been wishing for years and shit's not happening. It's no, like, I got yeah. one though. Like I would like to see it, um a Kid Icarus, like Ooh. an adventure game. You know yeah. how they? Got, I don't know if you checked out the 3DS version. Um, um, one like that game was like, kind of on rails and it was like um kind of like a point. But I would like to see like an adventure game. You know, yeah. by, like platinum or something. That would be pretty dope to me. Yeah. The Kid Icarus as a character and just as an IP is interesting in itself. So I think that they could flush his his whole shit out more and like like you said, give us an adventure game. That would be pretty dope. That'll be that'll be pretty dope. Um Justin in the chat actually um said one of the games that I really, really want to see. Um yeah, Solid Rev is gonna think this one's extra, extra gay, but Animal <laughs> Crossing. Animal Crossing is super, super <laughs> addicting, bro. You guys don't even know how addicting that game is, bro. That game is ridiculously addicting. Basically, um, 
you're a, you're, I, you're, I, the, you're basically you're the mayor of this town. You got to build the town and shit. Like it's super addicting though. Like it's just uh, weird, bro. The game is like city skylines. Addicting. Nah, <laughs> it's way better. It's way better. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Animal Crossing is actually super addicting, man. I don't know. Like, niggas be hating, but that game is really, really addicting, though. Like, I'll be on that. I'll be on that in a heartbeat. Nintendo dropped that real talk. Yeah. Anything you like to see? Look at the look Animal Crop. All right. I'll, I'll let you go. <laughs> nah. <laughs> fucking with Animal Crossing, man. Yeah, I'm done, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't never, I ain't never get into Animal Crossing like that. So that's not something, oh, like bro. Y'all, yeah, yeah, you know why y'all, y'all probably don't have like a heavy, you know, portable gaming background like I do, bro. Like I will, mm-hmm. I have a heavy portable gaming background. Like my first, um, my first device that was or gaming device that was purchased to me was a Game Boy Color. Yeah, mine was so, you know, so that, yeah, that was my very first, you know, platform that was actually bought for me. So like, I have a really strong like history of portable gaming. You know, yeah. I, you know, I had the Game Boy Colors, I had the Game Boy Advance. I remember playing um Sonic Advance um Adventure. I know you guys know about that game. Shit mm-hmm. was lit back in the day. I remember playing um Mega Man um Mega Man and Boss on the Game Boy Advance. Like, I got. Yo, just a whole bunch of like, I have a really strong background in portable gaming. So when I got the Switch, I was like right at home. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I just, yeah. I just really enjoyed it. I, I get that though. That's, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Like I had the Game Boy, but like, like I was saying in one of my other videos, like I got mm. lots of brothers and sisters. So look, when it came to gaming, we literally had like one platform and we all had to share shit. So I didn't really get a chance to really fast, fast, my bad, bass, <laughs> not boss, bass. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're gonna clown me for that. My bad, at bass. <laughs> mm, so yeah, like I, I mean, that's why I'm like so interested in the Nintendo IP this time around because it's all on a handheld, so I could take shit on the go and play whatever they got coming out. So I'm, mean, I'm just interested. Yeah, to see- I've always been a big portable guy. I've always been a big portable guy. I got the PS um, PSP day one. I remember my PSP came with um, Wayne Gretzky hockey or some shit like that. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it came with that. Yeah, I think that was bundled in or some shit like that. Yeah, I had. Yeah, I got. I got the PSP for Christmas that year. I got that day. I got a day one. I remember I got that for my birthday. PSP was lit. Not day one, but I got it the um this the first year. First year, I mean, and that shit was lit. PSP was extra lit. (laughs) Um, Any predictions in the chat? Yeah. So guys, um, I guess we're gonna we're gonna take some questions before we hop off this. Um, you guys got any questions? And you got any questions for us about um? the switch or about anything let me know still you guys got any questions we, we're taking questions now tell us um um what's it called your predictions in the chat or your wishes and we'll read them out shout you out eric empire says i miss my psp no lie your psp was fired the vita is a complete failure compared to the psp in my eyes bro oh, PSP, yo game white psp was so lit bro PSP mm-hmm. had so much original games. It wasn't even funny, bro. It wasn't even funny. I remember you know, just running the Shin Budokai's. <laughs> Got Bleach, Bleach hit the, <laughs> heat the soul. Bleach Get soul Car- carnival. Daxter pursuit force. Um, what's it called? Peace Earth Core. Peace sleep. Walker. Peace Walker. Um, Crisis, Crisis Core. Core. Yeah. Big game. Big game. Um, <laughs> Crisis Core, boy. That yeah, that was great. heat. Crisis Core. <laughs> Oh fuck! What else was there? There was enough games on the P. I don't know if I said Daxter already. Yeah, and just the whole fact that you could pirate that shit. Get all the yeah. You got the SOCOM games on that. The GTA um, games. Remember yeah, we got, yeah, said? We got yeah, Liberty yeah, City yeah, stories, yeah. Vice City stories. Yeah, PSP was lit. You can't even compare the PS Vita because Sony dropped first party support with the quickness with that. You already yeah. know. You're it went hand out. The first party get dropped. The third parties ain't fucking with it either. <laughs> so carbon, um, carbon local says, um, mother, mother three for the switch. Um, I'm guessing that's um, Earth Bound. Yeah, that's that would be pretty cool. That would be a dope um announcement. Um, Luigi's Mansion. Capone, mm-hmm. yeah. Tone says Luigi's Mansion three. That would be dope. That would be, I'm mm. all for that. I'm all for that. Mario. I don't know if you guys seen a rumor, but did you guys see a rumor that um Final Fantasy VII is coming to the Switch? You see that? Some oh, show the remake. The remake. I heard. I heard. Did you see a rumor like that though? I see yeah. a rumor like that. I'll come across. I, my I heard that there. rumor like before the like the Switch was even like revealed oh, really? as a Switch when it was still the NX. Yeah, they were. Um, it was back when um they announced Cloud for um Smash Bros. 
Oh, that's yeah. when like people were talking about um, Final Fantasy VII remake coming to the Switch as well. I don't know. I could, I could. I mean, Nintendo has a history with Final Fantasy, so I could see that happening. Um, base um, Vita says um, the likely. What's the likeliness of Overwatch coming to the Switch? Basically, I'm Man. saying hell no. Saying <laughs> hell no. I don't think. I don't think that game will work on the Switch. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, Probably not. <laughs> Brian, PS4 master. Kofi would get his ass whooped by me at Smash. Stop ducking my comments. Get the hell out of here, bro. <laughs> See me when the game come out. I don't even think you have a Switch, bro. Get a Switch before you can come talk to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what, uh, what else we have? You guys have any more questions or you guys want to just say some shit? We'll shout you out. And then we're going to get out here. Um, Shout out to the 46 people who are currently watching us right now. Yo, hit oh, that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button, man. Appreciate it. All the jokes and s- predictions in the chat. Holding yeah, it down. Man. Hit that thumbs up button for a brother, man. Mm-hmm. We're trying to bring extra content for y'all, bro. Um, PS5. Can you guys talk about place? I got a bunch of ponies um, following me. <laughs> y'all can. Y- 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 oh, yeah. We need to stop anytime soon for the Switch, like uh, this year. Um, price shop? No, not this year. I don't think like with the way it, with the way it's selling. I don't think they. they I don't think so. I, I can see a bundle coming, but not a price drop. That's not mm-hmm. coming. That's not coming this year. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting on the Switch revision. I'm waiting on that, like a, a redesign. I think that's coming. You know, two three years down the line, we're gonna get a redesign of the Switch for sure, bro. Mm-hmm. I see. You think they're gonna redesign the handheld part or like do a stronger dock? No, just the whole handheld. I think I think mm-hmm. they're gonna redesign it. See, I can see them doing a, a stronger dock. Erica, Erica says, "How soon before BG caves and buys the Switch? BG, I'm, um, I'm gonna predict sometime in 2018. BG is gonna get a Switch and he's gonna claim that um, he never bought it because <laughs> you can already see he's been e begging on the internet <laughs> low key for the Switch. <laughs> yeah, he wanna buy. He, like he yo, wants a Switch. He yo, just don't he wants, buy it. Yo, he wants it. Don't get it twisted. He wants it, but he be low key e begging, trying to get niggas to buy from him. Bro. He already know what it is, bro." You got exposed already, yo. You already know what it is. Yeah, right? he was talking about it. <laughs> for his birthday or something like that. Like his birthday coming up, so people need to buy him a switch. Switch extra large coming next year. I don't think it'll be an extra large. I think they'll just you know redesign it. You know, if, if anything, they need to go smaller with it. But I don't. I, don't, yeah, I, don't I could see that. I, don't know. I think a, a analyst was saying that um he could see like a switch um mini coming out or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah I somebody, think so. Somebody was saying that too in the chat, so I, c- I could see them going smaller. If anything, I could see them going smaller, like a more pocketable version. Maybe um, uh, the controllers won't be detachable. Oh, okay, you know what I'm like a okay. just like a okay. straight, you know, maybe just a straight handheld version of it. I could yeah. definitely see that happening. I would actually get that because I play mostly on the handheld. Anyway. I actually like the, I like the bigger screen though. I I kind of like the device. Like, look, everywhere that I go, that I take my switch, everywhere that I go, like. I have a bag like work. I have a work bag, you know, so I put it in. It's not really an issue. Like, yeah, you, dudes be boosting, bro. Dudes be you get, boosting. You're getting used to the size. Like, I was playing, um, like, all the hours that I put in the Zelda. And then after Zelda, I went back and played Persona 4 Golden on the Vita. Yo, the Vita felt like a goddamn a toy in my hand. Like, that shit was so small. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like, yo, how did I ever play on that? How, how, <laughs> how, how, how does the graphics be looking to you now on the PS Vita? Oh, compared to like the Switch? Yeah, how does the graphics yeah, be looking? It's not. It's not. It's not yeah. a lot of the Switch is watching that shit. It's watching the graphics. Yeah, People be clowning. It's it. Yo, dudes be clowning like, oh, it has a 70, 720p display, but low yeah. key, yo, on the five inch screen, when I tell it you Zelda good. Breath of the Wild looks amazing, that mm. shit looks so freaking good. It's yeah. crazy. It looks crazy on the screen. It looks really good. Like, I've it's never really complained good. about the resolution and stuff. Like, like, like I said, if if even if Sony or Microsoft came out with an handheld, I wouldn't care if it's 720p. Like, just the b- ability to play those games in the handheld like yeah. that at at least 720p, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yo, let's hit up this last, last topic um before we pop off i got a question for you man because you see how nintendo's doing this um you know portable console thing do you think in the future this is how it's gonna go forward with them i don't because i predict this is the way the direction that nintendo's going we're not gonna see no more dedicated home consoles what do you think Mm, that's a good one that's a good one i don't think so i think this is this this is the start of um nintendo's new um like trend with their new hardware it's going to be um portable devices that you can hook up to your tv right. what do you think i agree with that because i think that it's their 
like it's their safe medium right there. Like they have that market that supports their handheld stuff. So if people look at Nintendo more as like a handheld thing, I think more people will jump on board with it. I just think that their fan base supports stuff like that. When it comes to like the hardcore console market, I don't know. People really don't look at Nintendo like a Sony or uh, yeah. Microsoft, like the Xbox and PlayStation. So yeah. they literally have to carve out their own niche within the gaming thing. And that's where yeah, they land. I, I, seriously, I seriously got a theory because I feel like Nintendo at this point, they know they're not competing with Sony and Microsoft in the, you know, the power race, the home console race. So I feel like they they didn't want to say that they're out of the console business. Right. So yeah. what's the smartest way? to, to do, do this because think about it if nintendo right now came out and said we're not making home consoles anymore we're just sticking with portable um gaming devices you know what that would be huge news that would be huge news yeah for, for a safe so a safe way to avoid that is, is to make a, a low-key a handheld but just to call it oh this is our home console you know have this sort of design so i feel like that's what they're low-key doing and i feel like you know their future systems um after the switch are going to be portable and they're gonna have like some sort of um tv connecting feature to it from here on going out that's what i feel like it's gonna be i agree yeah especially if it keeps selling like it is like they <laughs> they ain't going back if it's selling like this yeah for real yeah oh. all right so man yo i think that's enough for today man these are our nintendo e3 predictions i want to um shout out everyone who came out to come and watch press start one-on-one -on -one. i'm uh, I really appreciate all the support that y'all been um giving me and um the whole press start movement. Really, really appreciate it. Um, the first episode of Press Start Podcast is this week, guys. It's this week. Um, well, not the first episode, but yeah, not the first episode, <laughs> but you know, this is we're kind of we're kind of relaunching it a little bit. Yeah, with you can get it relaunch. It's yeah, kind of can. like a relaunch of permanent cast members, and we're still gonna have guests and all of that, but. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to coming on air and you know chopping it up with the cast, talking mm -hmm. about these games. It's gonna be really really fun. More um, predictions and stuff like that. Yeah, we're gonna definitely talk about E3 more. Um, so just a reminder, uh, press our podcast is gonna be every Thursday, um, starting this week, um, 8 p.m. Eastern time zone. So make sure you guys um tune in for that. It's gonna be really really good. And yeah, so with that being said, you know we're gonna hop off and get out of here and um we'll see you guys later follow make sure you guys subscribe to jamie's channel i'm gonna have his link in the description and and yes, um sir. follow us on twitter as well and i'll check you guys out later take care. all right people. peace out everybody <laughs>